Okay, great. So we're with uh, Joe Carrick. Joe, second lady, fifth overall. Unbelievable performance. First time racing a Wimble Ball? Uh, I've raced at Wimber Ball a number of times, but not, not this distance of racing at Wimber Ball. Yeah. Um, I think previously everybody thought that would just be impossible. Impossibly tough. Yes. Uh, and the, the, uh, the swim, super smooth, then he got out there onto the bike course. Tell me about that. Well, we had perfect conditions today, so Indeed. it was lovely. It was first thing in the morning, it was just beautiful here in the water at six o'clock, see the sunrise. Uh, ducks flying over in a V formation. I, was, I spent the first three laps thinking, you know, isn't life wonderful? Exactly. Well, we the last lap, I was thinking, get me out this water. <laughs> couldn't, have, couldn't afford the red arrow, so we got the ducks in. Um, yeah. Unbelievable, really yeah. nice. Yeah, and then the, and the bike course. Well, I know the bike course very well. You know, we've yeah. done a few training days here for the organisers, and it's my sort of stomping ground. So I knew it's. You know, I decided it was, of course, not to try and race just to ride it. Um, it was very tempting when Bonnie caught me and passed me sort of quite early on the course to, to, to chase her and I managed to sort of tell myself, don't do it, you know, like... Res resist the course. Well, you exactly. certainly had the legs there when you got onto the run, straight into your running, yeah. and um, looked to me like you ran strong the whole way around. Yeah, I, I actually really surprised myself how good I felt on the run. You know, I did it a couple of weeks ago, two laps of, in training, and, and I really struggled on that, that training run. So I was expecting this to be a very long afternoon, evening running, and it wasn't nearly as hard as I thought it would be. Off-road, you're using road shoes, a little bit ruggedy. I think you mentioned that perhaps some of the grass sections a little yeah, bit uneven as well. Yeah, surprisingly, the, the, the hardest running was on the, the grass areas, and I think if you don't run on grass a lot, you realise it doesn't really give you any energy back under your feet mm. and actually you know, it's like it's, when you're, you're picking your feet up well it, it's it's such a creating resistance as you run through it so so that was a little bit wearing yeah so tips for anyone thinking of coming and racing here next year um you're a very experienced athlete yourself as you say you've been involved in some of the training days what would you recommend to people out there interested in this event? I certainly think this is a race where you definitely want to preview the bike course, have a ride round it, one lap, um, sort of get the measure of what you're letting yourself in for and if you can also do the, the run course preview. Um, prepare yourself to sort of carry stuff on the run as well yeah. just because you know it's slower. It's a race that you can, you know you're going to take two hours, three hours exactly. extra over your normal Ironman time. So. And long long laps. So get your yeah. mentality set right for yeah. it and yeah. you'll have a great day. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. Terrific effort. We really appreciate your support. Obviously helping out with the uh, pre-race days as well. And hopefully we look forward fun. to seeing you next year. I've enjoyed it. Thank, Thank you. you very much.